the protein bar. You know what that is? Protein bars are candy bars for people who like to pretend they're better than you. Thanks to WhoKeys for sponsoring this video. You can get 25% off Windows and Office with coupon code TS25. So they've got Windows 10 Pro, they've got Home, you've got Windows 11, Office 2021, 2019, and this is the one I use, 2016, because it still works very well. Putting in coupon code TS25, click apply, and then watch these prices come down. Wonderful. Once you're finished, all you have to do is click on your user account up here, go to your user center, click on my purchase orders, and then you'll see everything you've purchased right there. Just view keys and codes, and you can just copy and paste your key, hit start, type activate, click on activation settings, paste it in there, click on next, and you will be activated. You know, I never liked how Microsoft has different prices for different people. If you're a home user, you're gonna pay 10 times more than an OEM builder or a corporation or something like that. And that's why I like heading to places like whokeys.com to get the OEM keys so I can pay a price that makes sense. So thanks to them for sponsoring and now to our regularly scheduled program. The good time of year, the end of the year, everything's on sale. You know, like the AMD stuff is all coming out, this new stuff, Nvidia's got new stuff coming out and that makes the older stuff that they have inventory of much cheaper. So if you're someone who is looking to do an upgrade or maybe a, a build, this is more for someone who's doing like a first time build or something. Now is a really nice time to do it because look at this deal. You can get an AMD 5 55, sorry, this is a 5600X. This is a six core 12 thread and it has the graphics built in. Now, if you already have a graphics card or something, we'll talk about that in just a second. But this one will do 1080p gaming for a lot of the modern games. Um, you know, if you're playing like the AAA stuff, it might not be able to do it at, at like 60 FPS. But for a lot of older games, a lot of newer indie games and stuff like that, you'll be able to play them just fine at 1080p or even higher than 1080p with a lot of like the pixel games or the, you know, the low res stylized games and stuff. It really is a nice CPU and it tops out at 4.4 gigahertz. It's you you cannot okay, you cannot do better than this for the money. That's it's stupid. This is stupid right now. It's less than half off because they have the new uh, you know, because they have the new Ryzen stuff. You know, this old stuff, 5600 G, 5600 X, it's ridiculously good for the money. I bought it for 129 and I feel like that's still a very good deal. Dill, it's ridiculously good. So this is gonna go in like I've got a couple extra parts. I'm gonna just throw all this together into a little system and either use it, give it away, or sell it. So that's what I bought it for because I have a bunch of extra parts that I want to get rid of and sometimes it's easier to get rid of them if they're all together with a CPU that'll cover my CPU and my GPU. So that's what is going to be the heart of the system. And then this is the motherboard that I like the most in the low cost range. All right, so it looks like some people, this is from 2022, a lot of these bad reviews are because people got it and out of the box they couldn't get it to work with their with their CPU. So just, you'll want to make sure that the version four should have the updated CPU or the updated BIOS. So that's what you want to make sure you're getting. This is not the older version of that. And the one thing I like about this motherboard is that we, we have our M.2 slot right here. I don't have extremely uh, awesome V-Regs, but we don't need them if we're not going to be doing some extreme overclocking. We have two RAM slots, so it's a you know stripped down. You don't have a lot of things, uh, not not much going on here. But this is the layout that I like because we have one 16-speed PCI Express slot here for our GPU. If you ever get one in the future, you you can expand to it right there. And then right here, that's a 1x slot, and it's above the 16 speed slot. It's not down here. So if you get a big GPU that's like, you know, two slots, it'll cover up if, you know, if the one X slot was here or here, it'll cover that up. But having it above the GPU means you can still put something here, like a sound card, video capture card, whatever. You can, you have some expandability right here. The GPU will go below that. And even if you get a big 4090, it'll fit right there. You know, it'll, it, you've got enough room. It can hang off the edge of the board. It doesn't matter, depending on your case, of course. So this was originally, I believe, uh, for 2017 for the Bristol Ridge codename of products, which I think are the Ryzen, like the 33700 and all those, that series. But the Raven Ridge, that is the CPU I'm talking about. It's This is considered Raven Ridge. I wish they would just say, you know, like whatever series is 5600, 5500, 5000 series, 3000 series, whatever. I wish they would just say that right here. Um, but since it's updated and it's the 4.0, it should work just fine with the Raven Ridge. I don't have one of these, but I like the layout of it and it's really, really good for the money. Anyway, moving right along here, you can get on, on Amazon for 71 if you really don't like new eggs, you know, stuff, but I've had okay luck with new egg lately. And then for the memory, we're going to keep it inexpensive. Now, of course, this is not as, uh, you know, as fast as an M.2. 
but you're getting a lot of space there for $27. This one's gonna be quite a bit faster, you know, like three or four times faster than a regular hard drive. And you know, you get 512 gigabytes of it so you can put a few games on there. It's a good starter. Now for the memory, I generally like to go with faster memory for the Ryzen uh, CPU and, and 30, 3200 megahertz at $41 is about the right compromise in my opinion. Going any slower than that and you might hamper the speed of your CPU too much but at this price range, it's hard to turn down. Now, of course, if you've got a little extra money, go for 3600 uh, megahertz memory, but this is gonna be just fine, and 16 gigabytes is pretty much all you're gonna need for gaming. If you're gonna be doing something other than gaming, you could spend 50, 60 bucks and get 32 gigabytes of memory, but you'll just need to make sure that you get two 16 gigabyte sticks. So that's something you'll have to think about, but really for most people, 16 gigabytes is totally fine unless you're, like I said, doing creativity, productivity, edit, editing, and stuff like that. Kinda hate to do this to you, but these Cooler Master uh, power supplies are pretty good when you consider the fact that it's $34.99 after rebate. Now, Newegg makes it annoying and frustrating and difficult and nearly impossible to deal with these rebates. So that's gonna be up to you if you wanna deal with it or not. $74 is too much for this. So, yeah. You have to like make sure you follow all of the instructions on these stupid forms right here. Read their terms and conditions. It does work, you know, but Newegg is really annoying to deal with. And, and I feel like these things are always shady, but $34 is kind of also like, whew, it's a really good deal for this. Now for the case, I'll give you a couple different options. In a more sleek option, the Thermaltake Versa H17 uh, is a decent case and it's got a nice compartmentalized area on the bottom here for you, where you can put like a couple of hard drives in your power supply and it'll isolate that area for aesthetics but also to separate the heat from your main components and then we've got plenty of room on the inside there you got room for a gpu look at all that sag they've got going on there with that gpu so you got room for a gpu you even have room for a radiator if you ever wanted to upgrade to that i'm not recommending one of those in this video because we're keep keeping it under 320 or around 320 for the price but yeah, you can do quite a bit with this case. If you want uh, a case that has a few more options, and namely this you know drive bay in the front so you can mount an optical drive in there for playing your old games or watching movies, burning Blu-rays, whatever you wanna do. Uh, this is a pretty decent option right here. It's not as aesthetically sleek as the thermal take over here, but you know, you've got some decent airflow options here. We got a fan mount on the side if you wanna do that. Um, and you have more mounting options on the inside for bigger stuff, you know, for expandability. It's a little bit bigger of a case and it's similar in price. So this one has USB 2.0 ports on the top and a USB 3 port. Um, now USB 2 ports, I actually generally like these because most motherboards do have the USB 2 headers and those are great for like controllers and stuff like that where you don't need the extra speed. This one here has um, the same. You know, it's got your audio and your USB 3 and your USB 2. That's literally all you need to make a computer. Just that. Now, if you wanted some extra space or something like that uh, to store some games, you can do that. If you want to move to an M.2, you can do that. That's all upgrade options. But that just that small list is all you need for a computer that will play pretty much any modern like indie game. When I say indie, I mean like there are some like AAA looking indie games that have crazy graphics thanks to the uh, Unreal Engine and Unity and stuff like that. But you know what I'm talking about when I say indie games. I'm talking like the stylized stuff, low, low polygon, pixel art, whatever. You can play any of those games and there are so many. And, and they're better than the AAA games. Like that's not subjective, that's like an objective thing. The indie games nowadays are better based upon average scores, based upon user reviews, Indie gaming is better than AAA right now. AAA has kind of gone down the how much money can we pull out of people by getting them hooked on a product and charging and nickeling and diming for everything. Their live services and stuff like that. There are some good AAA games still, but indie gaming is really where it's at. And this computer will allow you to do that. It'll allow you to play all the old games from the you know 2000s, 2010s, and all that stuff. Stuff that you may have missed. You can play on this system for you know 320 bucks. So cannot argue with that. Now the last couple of things I want to mention are if you need a copy of Windows, Windows 10 Pro and Windows 11 Pro over on Who Keys, I get them here. These are OEM keys. They're tied to the hardware. If you start changing out a bunch of your hardware like your motherboard and CPU, uh, the OEM key may say like, hey, what's going on? And I had to call Microsoft once 
and they reactivated it all. So the thing I like about these OEM keys are they are the price that you would expect to pay if you were a corporation or an OEM builder or something like that. And you're building your own thing. This is an OEM thing. So I, this is where I've always purchased my keys. I, I see some people in the comments being like, always recommending those shady keys and stuff like that. You know what? This is where I've always purchased keys. I think it's really weird that Microsoft has different price tiers for like home users and stuff like that. Imagine if you were buying a video game and they were like, okay, you're a home user, the video game is 80 bucks. Oh, you're you're an OEM and you want to include the game installed on the laptop, the game's $10 for you. Like, that's not fair. So that's why I always get these OEM keys and I always have. Even before I took, you know, the, the advertisement deal, I've always done these OEM keys. So that's my little spiel on that. They're, they've always worked for me. And, you know, I know Microsoft is like, we don't want you to do that. Well, then block us. But they haven't. So they, these things work totally fine. And with the coupon code TS25, you get 25% off of this price. So that's where I would get my Windows key. And then last but not least, um, since right now everyone's upgrading and stuff like that, we're going to have a little bit of fun here. The hardware. We'll do 50% off with um, the coupon code WILD. That's right, just 50% off all the hardware and mouse pads. Like all the stuff we have here. Mouse, you want a, you want, you want a really accurate mouse? This is the one I use. You want a, uh, this is in my opinion, the best the best analog stick in the business right here. I, I went and found that maybe not the best D-pad in the business, but that analog stick right there. Best in the business, somewhat guaranteed. I, I, if you don't like it, I'll uh, eat a sandwich. All right, anyway, so 50% off with coupon code WILD. I will leave that up for one week after the release of this video. So coupon code WILD, epicpants.com. That's the end of this. It might go on a little bit longer because I'm going to make one more build video. All right, see you in the comments. Watch for the $500 build video coming in a couple of days. Average. I bought it for $129 and I feel like that's still a very good deal. Dill? Still a deal? Still a deal. It's steel? No, it's still a deal.